Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Now I haven't done a lot of, I haven't done any comparison videos recently to be honest, apart from the Exit Premium versus U11. So I thought I'm gonna do a benchmark comparison video between uh, all the latest flagships from from um, the main Android manufacturers. So we've got a OnePlus 5 with 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gig in the back. Now that's HTC U11, uh, both running on 7.1.1. That's the iPhone, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's a Samsung S8 Plus uh, running on 7.0. That's an O2 model. I know that there is an update to 7.1.1, but um, at the minute it's not available. This is running the Exynos 8895 processor, so this is what we get here in UK. And the last phone will be my very personal Exit Premium. So all the phones are ready now. We're gonna run a Geekbench 4 benchmark. OnePlus 5, 6GB of RAM, Snapdragon 835, HTC U11, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 835, Exit Premium, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 835, Samsung S8 Plus, not an iPhone, definitely not an iPhone, Exynos 8895, and 4 gigabytes of RAM. So Geekbench 4 will measure the single core and multi core um, processor and will give us a, basically a mark, the, high, the, the higher the score, the better. I know it's quite an old uh, benchmark app but it's still in my opinion it's still it's still quite measurable so you can still see that a low-end handset entry-level handset mid-tier handset high-end handset uh, it's co it's completely different it's showing a completely different result than the, uh, than the, be between each other so all the phones are running it oh okay so i've tried to i've tried to expand the screen of the S8, which basically caused it to reset the whole benchmark. So S8 is taking the benchmark again, and the results are in. A OnePlus 5, 1957, 6814, uh, single and multi-core. U11, 1926 for single core, 6428 for multi-core. Exit Premium, 1914 for single core, 6343 for multi-core. And interestingly, uh, S8, 2,025 and 6,706, 6, I think it was so decent. But you know, I'm wondering, uh, I remember it was an S6 or an S7 that had an one additional core or something like that, that only activated when the phone recognized that it's running a benchmark and it was giving a higher score. But it, obviously it wasn't working constantly or anything like that, only in benchmarks. I wonder if an S8 does the same thing. Anyway, we've got a new benchmark here. We've got an Antutu 3D, uh, which, which measures the GPU capabilities. Uh, still relevant, in my opinion, in 2017, even though it's as old as HTC Desire <laughs> uh, and, and Hansas like that, which basically was my very first Android Hansas. Um, yeah, I'm just interested to see what, what kind of uh, frames per second will we get. Th that benchmark uh, measures the GPU capabilities of all the um, flagship handsets. So it's going to be interesting to see. So the results are in, quite similar to each other to be honest, but this is what you would expect from three Hansas running on a Snapdragon 835 and one Exynos handset. I'll leave you to it guys, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I will see you next time. Take care, bye!